It's Eric Lundgren with IT Asset Partners. We're here at our headquarters today at 8966 Mason Avenue. The date is April 1st, 2017. Our goal today is to test four EVs to see which one gets the farthest range in optimal conditions. We try to create the best car in the world and the most advanced car in the world, and I think we've done that with the Model S. <laughs> the Model S, despite being a, a much larger car than the Roadster, actually has more range. We pushed the range up to 300 miles. And to be yeah, clear, the, the, the Model S, the, the cheaper version of the Model S, the, the one that starts at 70 and change, has a 200 mile range, or, uh, according to Tesla. The, the more expensive version has a range that's, that's closer to 280, I guess, they say. Yeah. Meet the 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV. With more than 200 miles per charge and a cost around $30,000 after government incentives, the Bolt EV is truly the first EV that cracks the code of long range at an affordable price. Since 2010, more than 250,000 Nissan Leafs have been sold. And it is the best selling EV worldwide. Since the current model only goes about 100 miles between charges, there is hope that a range upgrade will be included. We've charged up all four of these EVs today, starting with the Tesla P90D. Up front, that's number one. Number two car that we have is the Chevy Bolt EV, their newest line. Number three, we have the Nissan Leaf. And number five back here, we have the ITAP recycled car. We like to call it the Phoenix. Now, these four cars are gonna be driving from Chatsworth, California out to San Luis Obispo and back. They're all gonna be driving under the exact same conditions with professional drivers. I'm really proud of this car behind you, so I gotta tell you a little bit about the specs of this car. It's made from 88% recycled material by weight. The batteries are recycled, the controllers recycled, the car itself actually was dragged out of a junkyard. It's a scrap salvage title. This entire test is to demonstrate hybrid recycling and what it's capable of. Come join me. That about does it. We're juiced. right here is 356.7 we did an 8.2 mile 
backtrack, yeah. which is a total of 16.4 miles. Okay. So we subtract 16.4 okay. to 356.7, and that'll give our actual miles on this trip. Practicing hybrid recycling. I hope you're all actually reusing these parts and components because you can build something like this. Something. I mean, it doesn't make sense to just recycle them for commodity value. That's bringing everything down to its lowest common denominator of value, and that's hurting our environment because then factories are building new ones when we already have working parts and components that we can reintegrate and reuse. And this is the perfect example of what I'm talking about. Um, this car wasn't built using new, like cutting edge, top of the line product and IT and controllers and batteries. It was built using garbage. How cool is that? I mean, it's 88% by weight plus garbage. So it's what we all threw away and thought was worthless. And then it was taken out of the recycling that I do and the scrap that my friends do in scrap yards. I mean, we literally got this car. It was getting ready to be crushed. We said, we want that one right before it goes in your shredder. We call the car the Phoenix because it came from nothing and it just beat every mass produced car in range in the world because we just did that and we've proven that the past can actually power our future. Bye. Bye.